into a digital. Yeah, basically, basically is a new way. Yes, yes. physical way so that you can just easily to extend your QTS quantity, but without uh, taking taking percentage of your CPU and your DRAM. And at the same time, you can like also uh, have like your efficient can be uh, increased. Yes. Yeah. And without any internet instruction moving or changing or something like that. So um, uh, okay, let's go back to the to the cover again. The cover. Yeah. And uh, I will have to turn off the microphone for a little bit second, and that. I Okay, now we're back. So uh, this is what we are going to introduce today. Uh, please, PD, put three of us in the front, at the front. And that is our Mustang expansion unit, Mustang 200, which is a very special car that can upgrade our NAS into a multiple NAS yeah. in a physical way. So uh, first of all, I would like David to introduce us about this car. So please. Okay. Uh, as you can see in the uh, in the slide right now, mm -hmm. uh, it it doesn't look like the NAS, right? Yes. It, it, it is just look like um, a powerful GPU card. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think that I uh, I will tell you the story about why why we wanna make this kind of special mm -hmm. PCI card and what is this this card about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's move to the next slide. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, I think it's a um, mm, storage is a must in this this era. Mm -hmm. uh, everything uh, is digitized, no matter the videos, documents, nobody use uh, the real photo mm -hmm. pictures anymore. So uh, since the storage is important for everybody, but I think many, many IT administrators, they will be uh, have a lot of requests. Mm -hmm. The request is about um, just like uh, I need more capacity. Yes. And sometimes uh, the the employees will complain to the IT administrator. Wow, I think recently the uh, data transfer speed is a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. Is there something wrong with the storage? And so the IT administrator have they they have to upgrade. Uh, the system, no matter the storage capacity or the computing power. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for the uh, MOS 10, we build up this card. We we want to help at the administrators or all the customers. Uh, if they want to upgrade their system, uh, they don't need to uh, uh, purchase another new NAS. Yes. We want to provide the customers and um, a uh, very uh, cost efficient way to upgrade their system. So the uh, the whole idea of this MOS 10 uh, 200 is we want to provide you a way to upgrade your system directly, no matter the computing power, or you can run more applications yes. uh, in, in a NAS. Mm -hmm. So the solution is MOS 10 200. Okay. And the card is um, powered by the IEI, just like Sam mentioned before. IEI is uh, uh, industrial leading uh, industrial PC company. They are mm -hmm. making a, uh, they make the hardware, and they are very very good at that. And QNAP, as you know, we are good at the, all the software part. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the QTS operating system is the, our NAS operating system. So the product is corporate. Uh, QNAP and II. We build up this card uh, together. And before I talk about this car, let's have a quick look of a uh, NAS hardware architecture. Mm -hmm. um, at the bottom of this picture, that is the hardware of the NAS. Of course, the hardware includes uh, CPU, uh, memory, and storage part, maybe hard hard drives or SSD, and of course, they work. And there must be an operating system in QNAP, we call that is QTS operating system. And on top of the op operating system, we have uh, versatile applications. 
um, just like container station, virtualization station, and a lot of NAS services. So this is a picture of a um, NAS. So hardware, operating system, and application. And MOS 10 200 is ju just like uh, you treat the hardware into a PCIe car. So in the uh, in this PCIe car, we have two CPU. That means you shrink two NAS into a small PCIe car. We still have P uh, CPU. We have two CPU and uh, memory slot for each CPU and also network interface for uh, each CPU. And in this uh, Mustang 200, uh, the operating system we call that as MQTS. M stands for the Mustang, the initial M. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to have a little, uh, let, let our customers or let you to distinguish the operating system. We call this is MQTS. And we support um, three types of CPU. It's all Intel 7th generation mm -hmm. uh, processor. Intel Celeron, Core i5, and Core i7. And it's an PCI card. And this is the uh, motherboard of the PCI card. So you can see two Intel ULT uh, CPU. And normally, this kind of CPU is used for the uh, ultra boot. Mm -hmm. And two soldering slot for your memory. And uh, at the bottom, you can see a lot of uh, gigabit interface. Yes. And at the back side, rear side of this uh, this motherboard, mm -hmm. there are two uh, M.2 slots. Mm -hmm. The uh, the M.2 slot supports PCI NVMe, NVMe SSD. So it, it's not set up. So we are uh, this kind of uh, M.2 slots offer higher transfer speed mm -hmm. and lower latency. Okay. And I think you must wonder uh, how about the network? How about the uh, uh, storage? Yeah. Because normally in ENS you can see uh, RJ45 network connector, connect the ca a cable to the connector, and you can see real hard drive tray, you can install the hard drive. Yes. And in this uh, in this MOS 10 200, you install into a NAS. So let's say the NAS is the uh, mother system. Mm -hmm. The uh, MOS 10 200 is just like a uh, um, uh, daughter car in the in your mother system. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, 10 gigabit interface in the MOS 10. But the 10 gigabit interface, how do you connect to it? How do you connect the NAS to the internet? We leverage uh, some function. We bridge the physical uh, network port mm -hmm. in the mother NAS system okay. with the, uh, um, let's say, the 10 gigabit port in the, in the total car. Mm -hmm. So uh, two, uh, two subsystems, two NAS subsystems under uh, MOS 10 200 can connect to uh, internet via the modern system. That is the way we connect to the internet. So it's like using a uh, virtual switch or... Like... Yeah, so we leverage the virtual switch function. Oh. It just, uh, you can see it is just, you bridge a physical network port mm -hmm. to these two uh, 10 gigabit network port in the MOS 10 200. Okay, and next part is the uh, storage part. As I mentioned, we offer two M.2 uh, slots for each processor, right? Yes. Uh, but somebody may say um, mm, the capacity may be not enough. Because mm -hmm. normally M.2 uh, SSD is, uh, has mm, smaller so capacity. So, price. yeah, you are right. No. <laughs> uh, so we offer two ways. Of course, uh, because the car is installed in a NAS, mm -hmm. so you can create iSCSI line in the uh, modern NAS. Mm -hmm. And uh, two subsystem in the MOS 10 200 can leverage the iSCSI function, mount the iSCSI LAN, mm -hmm. and make the LAN as the uh, their capacity. Okay. Of course, you can leverage the uh, virtual debug function. I think uh, it's a well known, um, good function uh, provided by the QNAP. It's very yeah. popular. Yes, yes. Uh, exclusive. And, and flexible. Mm -hmm. You can just mount the remote uh, iSCSI LAN into the uh, MQTS, I mean, the MOS 10 200. Okay. So uh, this is the way we uh, expand the capacity. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, 
Since it's uh, equipped with the Intel Core i5 i7 mm -hmm. processor, and uh, also uh, we have two M.2, uh, we have to install two M.2 in a car. Mm -hmm. So the heat is a problem. Yes. In order, in order to deal with those problems, because uh, if you uh, the CPU processor or the M.2 running in a high temperature, the CPU will go into a, just like a, a uh, some shorting mode, uh, you will reduce the frequency mm -hmm. and also the M.2 will re uh, reduce its operating frequency. Mm -hmm. So we provide the, uh, some, a CPU thermal module, it includes a heat shield, radiator and fan, mm -hmm. and also an uh, aluminum alloy radiator for the M.2. We have to guarantee uh, the CPU processor and the M.2, they are all operating in a, a low temperature. Sure. Mm, uh, for the Mustang 200, uh, some NAS support uh, not only not in search, what yes. you can support two mm -hmm. uh, Mustang. If you are installing uh, two Mustang 200 in a NAS, and there is a uh, um, switch for setting up the ID, you have to adjust the ID for two cards. Set up different ID for each card. Like Mustang 1, Mustang 2, something like yes, that? Yes, something like that. So that the operating system can distinguish uh, the uh, uh, which car is number 1, which car is number 2. Okay. And this is the uh, skill. Yeah, skill and the specifications mm -hmm. for the Mustang 200. We offer customer, uh, customers three skills. Uh, Mustang 200 i7, mm -hmm. Mustang 200 i5, and Mustang 200 C. C stands for the um, uh, the cellular mm -hmm. processor. Uh, for the i5 and i7 SKU, uh, we have built in uh, 16 gigabyte memory, 8 gigabyte, 8, 8 gigabyte for each processor, and build, uh, building uh, Intel 600P 512 gigabyte SSD. That is for the i5 and i7. Mm -hmm. And for the cellular SKU, we offer 4 gigabyte, 2 gigabyte for each processor but uh, ship with no M.2. Well, basically, I think the hardware uh, spec specifications are already good enough, even some even higher than uh, some NAS. Power NAS. Yes, yes, yes. The market. yes. Uh, it's i5, it's i7. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good specification. Of course. Okay, uh, let's have an open box of the, uh, this Mustang 200. Okay, so let's go to our webcam. Okay, you can see this is the packing of the Mustang 200. Yes. With, uh, it is packed with a very, very beautiful box. Mm -hmm. And remove the top cover. We have a, a quick installation guide inside. Mm -hmm. You can just follow the uh, Instruction here, yes. and you can fin finish all the installation. Ah, okay. And this is the Mustang 200. Mm -hmm. We also provide you a power cord. Yes, a power cord. Cable. Cable. Yes, it's a cable. Mm -hmm. And two screws for fix up the uh, the PCI card in okay. your uh, NAS. Okay. And the dimension is it looks like just uh, a high end GPU card. Mm -hmm. So the white is uh, two PCI slot white. And the blue part is, uh, is the fan and the heatsink it okay. equipped inside for the uh, CPU. At the back side, M.2 slot. Mm -hmm. And this is for the uh, M.2. Okay. It is made of uh, it is made of the aluminum alloy. Okay. And there uh, there is one thing you have to be aware of uh, this part. This is the six pin right here, right? Yes, six pin power connector. Uh, because it's i five and i seven, seven, you need extra power for sure. this car. And for the ID switch, it's just over here. Mm -hmm. You can just use your screw screwdriver and switch this uh, ID switch. Sure. And if you want to install multiple, this is a must okay. for installing multiple uh, Mustang 200. Sure. And 
you want to install this in the NAS, it's just like the PCI car. Mm -hmm. So just plug this PCI car into the NAS, NAS and done. Done. Okay. Okay, this is the introduction of this uh, all the open box. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to the slides. Yeah. So uh, this is the Mass Implementer itself. So uh, after we check on the new product, the expansion card, we want to see what kind of NAS can work with this expansion card. Yeah. Currently, uh, for the uh, uh, supporting NAS, you can see the list here. Mm -hmm. uh, A, uh, A77, that is X77 tower desktop model, yes. and 82 desktop models. Uh, includes uh, A82, 1282, and the 85 tower model, 1685. And for the Rayman, uh, the 1677XU uh, can support uh, the Mustang 200. Sure. And for the QTS card, uh, we, we are going to ship this card with the uh, 4.3.5. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, please be aware, if you want to choose, uh, uh, if you are using the x82 or x85, uh, do remember to choose the 450 watt mm -hmm. or 550 watt skews, uh, because we need extra power for, for, this, for this Mustang 200, yeah. okay? Okay. Uh, so right now we, uh, I think you, you you will have an idea. The Mustang two hundred mm -hmm. is a PCI card uh, with two CPU and memory and mm -hmm. just, just like two NAS in a PCI card. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the application. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about how to manage it and how you can use this card in your NAS and in your environment. Yes, sure. Okay, <clears throat> and as you can see, you can see here is a five major benefit for upgrading your NAS now. And let me brief introduction. First, you just buy one car and you just get two NAS. You can you, you can imagine that it's just an economic, economic is <coughs> sorry economic wage yeah or affordable customer. yes, and then you just can use our. Use our car manager to manage your host, host NAS and your MQTS system. Okay. And the, the third one is that we have we will provide you a massive app in QT in QNAP App Center, mm -hmm. and it's just quite easy to learn and use for your application. Mm -hmm. And the third one is <clears throat> we we just uh, we have a independent and friendly development environment. So you just can for research for resource uh -huh. so, segregation. So basically, segregation. if you want to do a AI thing or you are a developer, you can just try to use this when you are having uh, when you are reaching the efficient limitation to your current NAS. Yes. So basically, uh, this five benefit will like give you a uh, huge improvement to your efficient. And basically, for each of the MQTS, that is a QTS operating operating system building inside, so we still have a powerful security protection. Even if you want to do snapshot, or you want to do like uh, R sync, R D R backup, or you want to use the hard to backup sync, and uh, mm, any other of the functions mm -hmm. of our protection, yes. you can all use that to protect your MQTS, just like our NAS provides you the ways to protect your. QTS. Yes, mm -hmm. right, right. It is just like can you have extra two NAS mm -hmm. in your NAS. And basically, I think in the next slide, I can we can see the the biggest of the features that because you just have to buy one car, okay. and you will like get two NAS right away because we have just saw the hardware and the CPU processors the specifications mm -hmm. that is using an i7 and i5 mm -hmm. or even we have another Intel processor the Celeron mm -hmm. which are all good performance in the clock speed yeah. so uh, by the DDR uh, DRAM the 16 gig for two of the i5 and i7 yes yeah and I think the the, the power the performance is already I have to say that it's already good enough or even better than the current NAS that we can find in the market all the current NAS. 
Yeah, all right. So uh, I'm not sure the price, but I think the can. Uh, I think it's coming coming soon, right? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, when it's coming with our QTS 4.3.5, just don't forget to check on the Mustang 200 in the in your like your online shop, and I think you will find the price very. Mm. Very just, good. Yeah, just compare if you want to expand mm -hmm. your um, storage or uh, computing power. Yeah. If, it, if you don't have the stand-up solution, you need to buy extra NAS, mm -hmm. one or two more NAS. And uh, a NAS, of course, not only just buying a NAS, you also need to buy the hard drive, hard drive and all, all, mm -hmm. uh, all other stuff. Mm -hmm. And you need space to put those Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you are in a separate room, you have a rack, and mm -hmm. but there there is no space there. Yes. You, you have to figure out a, another way or buy another rack mm -hmm. to put the uh, new uh, new purchase nest. Right. Yeah. Well, just like we have cooperated with other third party company, like last week, uh, sorry, last month, we have mm -hmm. just introduced the Panasonic Glass ah, here. Yeah. And for that solution, we have. Uh, made a special like software that for our users to control the whole system. Well, for the Mustang 200, we also have a new uh, software for our users to create and uh, control all your MQTS inside of your host QTS. So let's take a look on the applications. Okay. As you can see here, we have the QTS car manager on QNAP NAS. Mm -hmm. And it is a really easy and simple, obviously, panel you just can see the automatic network setup and the subsystem overview and as i mentioned here i will demo it later and you will look precisely yeah. okay so it's an app right yeah you yeah, can it's download it from the app center when the 4.3.5 launch yeah okay. right okay okay and just i just what just what i mentioned before you also can so the firmware version and hardware resources or a remote control, you can just power on and power off on this panel. Mm -hmm. And it is quite easy to use. Okay. Yeah. And also you can you can on this panel you can view the online user and you can just control who is online or something else like that. And mm -hmm. you just a very really, uh, really convenient panel here. Okay. Yeah. It, it sounds like just like the Q center for the Mustang two hundred. Yeah, yes. of course. Okay, and this is um, also you can see the storage man managing this panel, mm -hmm. and we, we just can see the hot disk us usage monitoring here, and then you will notice that what's how how, how is how it work, and also if you don't use if you want to use more space, and you can use our iSCSI and the VJ bar to to increase your space, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's quite easy. Yeah. So in the QTS card manager, if I need to expand my capacity, yes. I can just uh, leverage the function here, and, yep. and right. leverage the iStarcy and the J bar here. Do I have to switch to um, the host QTS? Uh, no, you just you just can control all of the stuff here. Mm -hmm. Just okay. click your... Mouse, yeah. Okay, just click mouse and follow the wizard. Yes. And I can expand the capacity of the uh, uh, M2TS. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. It's okay. Really okay. easy. Okay. So you are saying that uh, you are saying that in the current system that we have to create a we have to create a iSCSI target mm -hmm. and then we can do the iSCSI wrong thing. But now in the uh, card manager, we can just do everything in the M2TS. Yeah. And without doing it in the mm. host NAS, yeah. so no need to switch back and forth. So we should jump to the host NAS and mm. go back to the MQTS, and I think we can do everything in this QTS on manager. Yeah, right. So that is just what we have been emphasized on the user friendly thing, right? Right, right. And since it's coming up with 4.3.5, I think all of our users will find we have improved and become more user-friendly in all of our UI, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. So, wait, what was the next? And the next is here, you can see the network setting. Mm -hmm. We just give you a network topology. You can mm -hmm. just really easy to see the network configuration here. And in, 
you can see the picture here is not really clear, but I will demonstrate it later in our demo. Sure, you, sure. You, you can notice that the virtual, the, the, the virtual, virtual switch. Yeah, virtual and some switch. And so the user interface is just like the network virtual switch. Yeah, in the latest version. Well, by the way, we have just introduced the latest version of our network, uh, network virtual switch. Yeah. So I assure you that the structure is just as the same as the, the network virtual switch. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is also what we are taking care of. We want all of our users to use different of our apps, but in the same user experience. Yeah. So it's very important. Yeah. So if you have watched that video, you will definitely feel familiar to this picture. And we will also show you later. Yeah. And also you can see the network traffic monitoring here and just you can just can record everything upload or download here mm -hmm. is really clear mm -hmm. yeah and i want to mention again is that we our qds app center we just provide you a massive application mm -hmm. you just can come here and just download it for the hundreds of apps to choose for your application so we can download uh, apps in the Mustang 200, mm -hmm. and those apps can uh, can run on the two NAS um, uh, Mustang 200. For example, if you have NAS, you um, you are running the virtualization station mm -hmm. in that NAS, and I think everybody knows if you're running a virtualization station, uh, you, you you are going to create VM. VM yes. will come soon. The CPU resources and the DRAM, DRAM, right? So uh, if you want to uh, run multiple VM mm -hmm. that will come to a lot of resources of the host NAS, right? Mm -hmm. So for uh, if you have a Mustang 200, you can run those v VM or virtualization station in Mustang 200. Yeah. That can release the resources of the uh, host CPU mm -hmm. and memory, and that that would be a good idea. That's uh, that's just like um, you have two more CPU yes. for your current NAS. Yes. Yes, and just. You can see here just the we, we have the virtual station and just what David mentioned it before and also we we provide a container station mm -hmm. and well it just can help you to develop your own software in different mm -hmm. environments mm -hmm. and of course they have both uh, they have uh, their own benefit and it just depends on what you need right. yeah and we, we just build out a flexible environment for you to use for your Mustang 200. Mm -hmm. You have virtualization station, you have container station with two, these two great uh, stations. Uh, you can have applications in the Mustang 200 and that will make, um, before you need to have um, application service, you need to install the uh, Windows uh, server in a physical server. But right now you can have uh, everything in a NAS, in a box. So applications and capacity storage in a box. Okay. And you can see the system is independent and segregated. And what that means, for, from now on, you have three QTS systems here. Mm -hmm. And you can share with different users for different applications. And some like developed on container or just visualization. Like, like what we have mentioned before mm -hmm. and we just give you an independent system and it's quite easy to use yes sure. and then you can see we provide this because we have the independent physical hardware resource here so it is a more efficiency than visual machine you so you don't need to share with based on this you don't need to share with how Host resource. You need you don't need to share with host yeah, resource. So it is a flexible way to build up your own application. Yeah, I yeah. think everybody knows uh, we have uh, VQTS. Mm -hmm. VQTS is just like um, virtualized NAS. Mm -hmm. uh, you can install this work, uh, VQTS in the X77 uh, NAS, right? And, but the, uh, the good way for the VQTS is it's easy, just it's an app. Just download it and you can install it and you, your, your X77 can just like um, become two or more NAS in a, uh, in a box. But uh, the weak point of this kind of architecture is if you have, you, you, your CPU is already busy, you, you already don't have enough uh, memory 
uh, very quickly with uh, very quickly as we're consuming more mm. resources. Uh, in that kind of scenario, we would suggest you to use the Mustang 200. It is just like a, uh, we physical the virtual PDS into a PCIe part. Okay. Okay. So uh, next slides, we, uh, before we do the demo view, uh, I will make a simple recap because what well, basically the Mustang 200, that is two of the QPS system inside. Yeah. So uh, if you're worrying or considering about the protection, well, let me just introduce you that. We can see on the light yellow part, first of all, we will do the connection management because you can still use all of our apps such as like QCenter agent or client to manage all the network environment or your uh, monitor, system monitor to manage it. And then the account security, well, still we can uh, provide you the two-step authentication with your uh, phone. Like uh, previously, I have just introduced a, uh, Google authentication, you still have to type in the, the code on your NAS so that you can log in to prevent the, uh, other people to log into your MQTS. And let's check on the red part, the communication equipment, like we are still using the processor that can support the AES yes, version. Sir. And of course, the data encryption for your volume, for your folder, yes. right? And uh, antivirus, of course, we can still run MetaPay or the malware remover inside of our QTS system. Mm -hmm. And then the connection security. Well, basically we have launched a new VPN protocol, which is called QVPN, with the latest QTS version will be coming in the end of July and or the beginning of August. So uh, we upgrade your own QTS system. You will also see the VPN server and the VPN client because you can use your NAS to be a server in like I mean, around the world and our NAS is not doing the upgrade so I'm sorry or you can just take your NAS as a client to connect to the other uh, content yes, in sir. the world yep. depends on your requirement and then of course we also have some new functions on our notification function we have a new notification center mm -hmm. and that can be like a operator system or a station to make you uh, have more uh, easier experience to control each of your notification to each of your apps. So still, we have all the functions to give you a full protection and a full notification to handle to control your MQTS. So basically, I think that is a very good way to, for you to increase to add on two more new NASs without handling. Yeah. without like huge like power consumption and uh, complicated in, in the like, environment setup mm -hmm. or something like that because now we have the cloud manager and you don't really have to move or change any of your internet structure for a bit then you will have to bring you NAS. Yeah. Well, that is a very good thing. So after we check out all the data security part, let's go to the most important part which is the app, yes. Card Manager. So let's check on the Card Manager. And uh, we go to the next slide first, and then we can, yeah, let's go to the computer. And as you can see here, and let me mention again, our QTS Card Manager will be released with the QTS 4.3.5. And after that, you can find out the QTS Car Manager at App Center, mm -hmm. and let's launch it. Okay, just wait a second. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Car Manager can be found when the 4.3.5 is launched in yep. the App Center, right? Yep. Yeah. And as you can see here, we are now in the Car Manager panel, and you can see in the overview, first you can easily see obviously see the must 10 mm -hmm. 200 there are here and you can see each of the IP address and the firmware versions and also the time they how, how it work and so it is quite obvious you can see the resource status about maybe the CPU and RAM how it work right now and also the system healthy of your and your disk healthy and also the temperature and you can see we just open it for five days but it still work at the 
really a cool temperature. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So it's quite, yeah. It's just yeah. like an over, overview dashboard. Yeah. yeah. So in this nest, you have a must hand and there are two, um, two nests. Yes. And QTS running right. on it. Okay. And also, you can easily just go, just what I mentioned, you can see the IP address here and you mm -hmm. just can click it and it is easy to connect to your MQD assistant and you just can log in and it's quite easy. Okay, so, so that is the IP address of the uh, MQTS, yes. one of the MQTS. And, and just click and we can just see a, a QTS. Yeah, right. And also you, you just can open it or power of it just by clicking this. Oh, I yeah. this one. You right. don't have to log in to each uh, nest. Like and type in the ID address and ah, admin yeah, yeah. and password. It's like running a virtual, uh, uh, virtual machine. machine. Ah, yeah, that pretty look like that. Yeah. And also you can see the online user right now who is just using the, this MQTS okay. system mm -hmm. and who is quite obviously. And also, and let me introduce the second one, the storage management. Just what I mentioned before, we just can easily come here and click the create this space. Oh, and you can just yeah. can just can create oh. a iSCSI disk and also the create a BJ bar disk. Mm -hmm. And you just easy to just click it. And you each can all do the stuff in this panel. And oh. you don't need to just go another place to to set up it and with a complete complicated process. Yeah. Okay, so with this wizard we can Ask another NAS to create the ICLS target, yep. and we can mount the ICLS lock, right? Right. Okay. So it's very good. Convenient. Yes. And also, the most uh, important thing is the network, because we notice that it is uh, about a three QTS system, yes, and nice. you can see the network setting uh, architecture overview here. It will just obviously tell you the virtual adapter and the virtual switch how they connect to each other mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's quite easy to know and also i want to mention one thing is that when you plug in your mustang 200 mm -hmm. it will automatically can uh, bridge this itself so you don't need to set up by yourself okay. you will just connect like right now okay, okay. so it is really convenient okay so it's like two of the mustang 200 mm -hmm. yep. now are now connected to the uh, virtual switch, switch, yes. switch is in the host NAS. Yes. And uh, the real physical RJ45 port are, uh, is the adapter too from the NAS. Yes, yes. Okay, I see. It's quite easy, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then this, you can see the data monitor here. Just look, just you can mm -hmm. easily to catch the send and the receive data mm -hmm. in the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's easy. And also you can see the much more detail about the network setting here. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you want to control more complicated network setting or about a virtual switch, you just can go, maybe go to another, you just can cho choose your M2D assistant mm -hmm. and then just click here and you, you will send you to the place you can just can just can oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. so that's where we have to type in our password and account uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that's right yeah reasonable yeah. yes just like a shortcut right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah a shortcut yeah. and connect with the mqts mm -hmm. yes and we can yeah. still do this at the overview page right oh uh, because I see the, the IP address. Yeah, yeah right the, here the IP uh, address is in, now in priority group. So. Yeah, that's, that's clear. Yeah. And also, we have a new function here which is called privilege setting. Mm -hmm. And let me just can wait a second. Well, last month I, I just, you know, like introduced a privilege setting for our QTS system, and yeah. that video was for. Around one hour, but this setting is like an add on to the privilege settings, so yes. it's like a different thing, but we can switch it on that. Yes, you just can come here to create your own user account, and also you can mm -hmm. just can go to click this mm -hmm. this option, at least click to to limit each user's storage space. Okay, so you can come just to like a uh, uh, 
um, storage space portal yeah. for each user. Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. So it's really convenient for our user to use in this mm -hmm. panel. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this so, is our demo. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back to the slides. So after the demo and uh, David will show you a function that uh, I, I'm not I'm not quite sure that it is a good time to tell our viewers about that, but since it's on the slides, so mm -hmm. we still have to let them know. Okay. Uh, before we talk about install the Mustang 200 in the NAS, mm -hmm. and that will make your NAS like um, make one NAS become mm, three NAS. Mm -hmm. And but in this session, I'm talking about something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. we, how if we install this uh, standard PCI interface uh, car into a PC? What can we um, do with this kind of uh, application scenario and I will give you an idea and this is the uh, uh, surveillance uh, scenario normally you will have uh, a NAS and so with the QPR Pro and connecting with a lot of IP camera 4K IP camera via the uh, network and uh, normally uh, you will uh, the security guy will have a monitor but the, uh, they will monitor all the stages via a PC so the PC is connecting uh, to the QBR Pro via internet or via the local network. And while, while you want to monitor or play back the video mm -hmm. uh, in the PC, you need to uh, get those video, 4K video streams from the QBR Pro yes. to the PC and the uh, GPU card, the VGA card in the PC will do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. For example, it needs to do the 4K uh, image decode and resize the 4K image into different uh, resolution mm -hmm. and then uh, encode the image again, then output to the monitor. And so if the uh, GPU or the VGA card is not powerful enough, it will uh, it can uh, encode or transcode limited uh, 4K IP cameras. And if you have this kind of uh, Mustang 200. Uh, we are doing something right now. It has uh, the function is not being launched yet, but I think it is going to come soon. Uh, in this case, we install a Mustang 200 in a PC, not in a NAS, in the PC, and we are going to provide you the transcode application, which you can be which can be installed in the Mustang 200. So when you get the uh, videos, it's not goes goes to the VGA card directly. It's gonna go to the uh, Mustang 200, and the Mustang 200 will help you to do the transcode. Uh, uh, sorry, should, should say decode and trans, uh, resize, mm -hmm. and transcode it into a small size uh, image. Mm -hmm. Then pass it to the VG, uh, VGA card. So that means your VGA card can deal with more 4K uh, camera images, and this is the. Uh, uh, test report from now uh, in, internally. In this environment, the PC equipped with two NVIDIA uh, 1060 uh, GPU card, and the 1060 uh, GPU card has um, uh, four mm -hmm. HDMI port. So there are two cards here. It means it can connect to uh, eight uh, TV. And if the PC uh, without the Mustang 200, it can transcode. 4K uh, IP camera is around 12. But with the Mustang 200, it can transcode 24 4K IP camera. So the Mustang 200 helps do something like um, offload function because of the two CPU in the car and also because of we offer two applications in the uh, car. So that's another uh, scenario of the uh, Mustang 200. May I ask you a question? Yes. So when I purchased the uh, Mustang 200, since it has two of the MQTS system, yes. so uh, I will also get like each MQTS system will mm -hmm. have eight per channel of the QVR, right? Ah, yes, yes. yes. So uh, I have just done a small research that uh, I, I've been checking for the uh, eight 
eight channel PoE MDR and mm -hmm. a sixteen channel PoE MDR, mm -hmm. and the brand is from the biggest brand in the world, mm -hmm. which is from China, mm -hmm. and the eight channel PoE still costs like two hundred and forty US dollar, mm -hmm. and the sixteen channel is like almost three hundred dollars. Yeah. So if we are creating our own security environment, mm -hmm. and now why don't we you know like change our mind that we can choose to use a NAS and use the QBR Pro mm -hmm. app. And then we can just you know, like get get a switch, and then make all the, the camera yeah. comes into the QBR Pro. Mm -hmm. Basically, you still have to buy hard disk for your MDR. So yeah. at the same time, you can still use the hard disk in your NAS to in the host the yes. And then you can still use the rest of the space to do the other jobs. Yeah. So if you are still using the MDR, try to. Get to know more about uh, yeah. Uh, because this anyway, this function is we are we are still doing something for this function. It's just like a preview mm -hmm. and also give uh, our audience an idea. Uh, uh, the Mustang two hundred is not just a, um, a NAS mm -hmm. car. You can leverage the two CPU to do more stuff. Yes. You can if you are a third party, you have the ability to um to to make an app and. So the app can do some acceleration function for your system. Mm -hmm. So this is just an give our audience an idea uh, in uh, by using this QBR Pro experience case. Sure. Okay. So uh, I think that will be the introduction of our Boston 200 today. Yes. And thank you again, Jeremy, and thank you, David. Well, uh, the simple recap for this expansion device. Well, that is a very powerful device that may contains two of the QBS system inside mm -hmm. and the processor and uh, the DR, uh, sorry, DRAM skill is very good. Mm -hmm. So uh, each of the uh, each of the MQTS we can take like thousand and twenty four snapshot for i five and i seven. Yeah, and then uh, with this you don't have to buy another more space to put your NAS, and you can just use. The rest of your storage space on your current NAS and then through iSCSI or VJBot to give your new QTS system a good space for your independent, like uh, independent job like AI or developer or uh, container station, Ubuntu, Windows. You can do everything on that, or you can just assign different of the MQTS to different of the department inside of your office. Mm -hmm. So I think that is the best way. So, uh, do we support the bracket type in the future? Uh, Rackmon type? Rackmon type, yes. Yeah. yeah. So if you are having a server room in your office, in your company, and the server room is just like this big, mm -hmm. but you want to double up your server, how mm -hmm. can we do that? Just purchase the Mustang Delivery yeah. Cup yeah. because it can now, uh, in the future, it can install onto the Rackmon mm -hmm. type. Rackmon less. Yeah. So that will be all the information and uh, let's go back to the live and thank you for the introduction and a very clear demonstration to the cloud manager. So if you like our video, just subscribe our channel and then if you want to get to know more about the Mustang 200, you can go to live.qnet.com and find this video online and we can provide you the uh, PowerPoint so that you can, you can download and study more. So uh, that is everything for today, and thank you for your watching. We will see you next time on QNet Live Broadcast. Bye bye. Bye bye.